The prince, meantime, stood in the water, staring and forgetting to get out. But the princess disappearing, he scrambled on shore and went in the direction of the tree. There he found her climbing down one of the branches toward the stem. But in the darkness of the wood, the prince continued in some bewilderment as to what the phenomenon could be. Until reaching the ground and seeing him standing there, she caught hold of him and said, I'll tell Papa. Oh, no, you won't, returned the prince. Yes, I will, she persisted. What business had you to pull me down out of the water and throw me to the bottom of the air? I never did you any harm. Pardon me, I did not mean to hurt you. I don't believe you have any brains, and that is a worse loss than your wretched gravity. I pity you. The prince now saw that he had come upon the bewitched princess and had already offended her. But before he could think next what to say, she burst out angrily, giving a stamp with her foot that would have sent her aloft again but for the hold she had of his arm. "'Put me up directly.' "'Put you up where, you beauty?' asked the prince. He had fallen in love with her almost already, for her anger made her more charming than anyone else had ever beheld her. And as far as he could see, which certainly was not far, she had not a single fault about her, except, of course, that she had not any gravity.' 